So carrying a code book to the job site is, is no longer needed. They're available electronically on the inspector's tablet or laptop or in bound copies back at the office. An RBI is a form of visual inspection which uses visual or electronic aids to uh, allow a method, of, provides a, a way for an inspector or a team of inspectors to see the products or materials from a distance. And this might need to be done because the objects are inaccessible or because they're in a dangerous environment or where circumstances or conditions prevent in-person inspections. And when we think about the energy code, arguably we are all aware of the challenges associated with enforcement of the energy code, whether it's due to staffing or training, um, perhaps lack of um, political interest or funding, um, and geography and population density play into it also, and there's a variety of other reasons. So I'm very interested in the potential for RVI and the efficiencies that it brings and the involvement of the applicant to perhaps increase compliance with the energy code. I think there's potential for enforcement in wide open rural areas where it might not have uh, been as feasible before and potential for increased compliance with less of a time investment by the code officials. So with that I'll turn this over to Dave who will uh, start giving us the highlights and broad overview of RVI. Thank you Dave. Well, thank you, Michelle, and uh, thank you for setting the stage here. And, and next slide, uh, Ian. So, uh, Michelle did a good job of explaining uh, what RDI is, really the definition, but it, it boils down to it's a use of visual or electronic aids, uh, period, for the inspector to be able to inspect a project uh, that's underway uh, and allows the inspectors to observe products and materials from a distance. and. I say distance, that's not just six feet, social distancing. It's, uh, you know, it can be hundreds or tens or thousands of miles away. So um, it's all done electronically as long as there's a, uh, a good connection. Next. So why use an RBI? You know, today's phones and tablets have powerful capabilities for real-time online communication. I mean, I think, I think we're all aware of, uh, of what the capabilities are these days. I, I, you know, I'm <clears throat> not a very young man, so I mean this kind of stuff 20 or 30 years ago just seemed uh, you know unrealistic, uh, impossible. But here we are today, uh, living it and looking forward to to what's next. Uh, it allows construction projects to continue forward without impediment. So you know the the pandemic uh, might have slowed things down, but uh, you know these are ways that that allow jurisdictions to continue providing those essential services um, you know uh, to the builders to keep construction going, keep the economy moving. Uh, and it's been broadly supported by uh, diverse uh, stakeholders. Um, you know, amazingly, uh, you know, I, I, I could say, it seemed like even a few years ago before this pandemic, a lot were resistant. Uh, I think I would have been, if I was working in a local jurisdiction, to do much in the way of uh, RDI, but, uh, but boy, it's really been embraced. Next. <clears throat> So what are kind of the key steps to what we look at from the, again, from the broad perspective that, uh, that Michelle mentioned. So scheduling, really the customer works with the uh, authority having jurisdiction to schedule them. Uh, customer preparation, uh, this is a key element, of course. Uh, they need to prepare the job site and devices. Um, and I'll go into all these in a little more detail. The job site identification, the inspector makes sure that the job site is identified on the video display. Uh, and then begins the inspection. Inspection results, uh, you know, everybody wants to know uh, the results. So, uh, you know, they're entered into the permit database as soon as the RBI is completed or, um, you know, as soon as the policy for the department allows. <clears throat> it may be uh, that they're connected or it may not be. Uh, maintaining records of inspections. So, again, that's whatever state law, regulation, or, or uh, jurisdictional policy um, uh, it is so you just follow that 